だよ。My friends, it's、uh, time to say a very good morning to everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? You feeling all、Eat. right? Feeling bright and jolly and happy and ready to face the new day. <laughs> That's good. Tell you what, in case you don't know, my name is Stuart Henry, and at the moment the time is 8:17. 8:17. You are still here. We are again. You're always taking it out on that door. I've told you time and time again. You eat your food. There's a good boy. Try getting water. This place is a palace compared to where we used to live. Oh yes, can you name me a palace where the doorknobs keep falling off? <sighs> What about an early night then? One of these days, eh? What、Damn、about it, eh? It's one of his headaches. Yeah. What he wants is a clear out. A good dose of salts would do it. If he broke his leg, you'd say he needed a dose of salts. This morning.
morning, Mr. Kinch. <laughs> Go on. Wait in the van, will you? I'm going to drop this in to Mr. Chapman. That sounds interesting. He's going to answer questions on sex. Fancy we're not telling you. Yeah, fancy. When you're 20, you'll be nearly 40. I can't wait for him to get there. So that sin may be regarded as anything that stands in the way of real love. And love, real love, grows only from love. And that the best sex education we can give to our children is to love them to the end. Now, has anyone any questions? Father. Corin Eldridge. Yes, Corin. I've got this friend, you see, Father. A Catholic? Oh, yes, Father. And she's got this terrible problem, you see, because she's in love with her brother. And he's 32, and she's nearly 15, and she's worried about incest. About what? Incest, Father. Oh, yes, incest. Excuse me, Father. Wynne Kinch. Yes, when? I know this girl too, Father. And she looked it up in the dictionary, incest. And it said, sexual commerce of near kindred, which wasn't much help. So she looked up commerce and it said, exchange of merchandise, especially on a large scale. And anyway, she's never really said she loves him. Well, not just like that. And he's not really a brother because she was adopted and she's the only Catholic in the family because of her real mother. And anyway, when he's nearly 40, she'll be 20, which everyone knows makes a lot of difference. Yes. Well, now, if uh, he isn't really her brother, uh, and she's looked it up in the dictionary, as far as an adopted relationship goes, any other questions? Hmm? Elizabeth O'Connor. Yes, Elizabeth. What's the Pope got against the pill? <laughs> I only asked him because I knew you wouldn't. I couldn't care less. You went bright red. I did not. Yes, you did. I saw you. Four, please. And how's my little Colleen today? Fine, thank you. Why does he always think you're Irish? Otherwise, she could have been there a day or two. 
dark hair, with a skin, with no sign of a handbag on the right side of the street. I'm waiting for the doctor to come back, and I'll call on you with more details. Is that you, Wynn? Yes, Mum. What are you doing? Just putting my books away. Won't be a minute. Here it is. The old space helmet. Had another letter from your aunt, Rini Tyndall. She's poorly again. She's upset we haven't called. I said your Aunt Rini Tyndall's poorly again. What's up with her this time? It's a waterworks. She caught a chill in them at her friend's funeral. It's done it again. Did I find the number one up on the comet? Oh, my God. Let me have a look. Oh, that's right on our doorstep. You don't call two miles right on our doorstep. It would have been on our doorstep if we'd still been living up there. Good thing we moved. When? When? You're not to go to our old house again. <laughs> not under any circumstances. Do they ought to string him up? We've got to find him first. Bloody madman. Wynn, you're not to go out on your own again at night. No. You heard what your mother said, Wynn? Yes, George. Yes, Daddy. I promised to put some shelves up for Mrs. Bennett. Her house must be full of shelves by now. Every Friday and always Mrs. Bennett. He only has his spare time. I don't think you'll find it's all spent with dear old Mrs. B. She's nearly 80. Even sexy George couldn't light her fire. Father had turned his grave. You don't look so scared. I'm not. It's only pulling your leg. Well, what can I do for you? Nothing, really. Oh, I see. You never wear that sweater I made you. What makes you suddenly come out with that? I know you never really liked it. I thought you might have got rid of it or something. Daft. Matter of fact, I don't know where it is. I went to put it on the other day and it wasn't there. You would tell me... If you didn't like it, wouldn't you? You're a funny little biscuit.
clapping in the audience for all the people that couldn't get into the marquee and had to stand at the end of the field about a mile away and listen to the sounds there. I shall play you with my thanks for a fantastic evening. This little sound coming up for you. Thank you very much. I'm going to come back to Grantham. Look out. Going to school every day of the week Working to pass the A's and O's Examinations may be a necessity what they want to know They want love They want to learn about it now They want love They want to learn what they don't teach in school Mothers tell their daughters Don't you stay out at night In the upper four Has he asked you out yet? Might have. But he's got a squint. So what? And his hands. They're all hairy. I like hairy hands. It's very masculine. <laughs> You can talk, but you're fancy George. George is 32. Let's choose my favourite age for me. Anyway, I'm older than you. Six months. There's other ways than age of being older.
Mrs. Bennett. Wynne Kinch. So it is. Little Wynne. I just thought I'd pay you a visit. Good job it didn't come next month. This whole street won't be here. Not that you'll catch me complaining. It's people who give me a pain. Your Len, for instance. Who brought him into the world. Do I ever see him? You see George? George? Your George? The shelves he's making you. A bookshelves, I think he said. Every Friday. Oh. You mean the shelves? Yes, the shelves. You mean them? Is that all? Oh, it'd be a waste of time, wouldn't it, putting up more? With the whole house condemned to wanton destruction. George. He's no better than the rest of them. I haven't seen him for a 12 months. All I'm asking is why? And I'm telling you to mind your own business. If your mother sees this, what's She's she going to She's not going to see it. You must be sick. Me sick? That's a joke. Now, what's that supposed to mean? You take it any way you like, big brother. I'll ask you once again. What's the special interest? It fascinates me, get it? Fascinates me. Talk to me, I'm bored. Do you mind? There's no need to run away, Len. I... Bye, all. Hey, what have you got under there? Nothing. Where well, your buster's grown, then. Cleaning things. Fancy cleaning a house are going to knock down. I want them to see it was clean. Looked after. Duh. Someone's been here since last time. Ghosts don't eat Mars bars. Come on. Let's go 
Let's all win it. Are you going to do anything special? Incantations or something? Of course not. You know we're not allowed to invoke the dead. Isn't that what we usually do? No, we just invite them to pay us a visit. I used to stand here, listen to George's bath water running. How would you like to run my bath, little sister? Oh, yes, Georgie. Anything for you, sweetheart. <laughs> now sit down there and don't interrupt me. I need to be quite, quite alone and very quiet. Otherwise, I won't get through. three times. I'm going to ask you a question. Will Corrie ever go out with old hairy hands in the coffee bar? One knock for yes, two for no. That lot she knows. Ask her about Mick Bakewell. Is it best for her to keep ignoring Mick Bakewell or should she go for the ride on the back of his scooter? He keeps asking me, don't forget. Because he keeps asking her. Out. We 
won't go there again. Out! I didn't mean a spark clear and everything. I mean, I, I know how upset you were when she was... It's just a game we play. I thought she was lovely too, George. I really did. If I kept you going near that place again... Yes, George. This time I'll say nothing to your mother. For her sake, not yours. George, I saw old Mrs. Bennet. She sent her love. Doesn't even rain on us up here. Rain just passes by. I think if he was going to kill all these people, he'd at least rape them. Seems such a waste. Then, if your father could hear the things you're not done till your aunt Freeney gets here. Hello, man. Come in. Have you got them? Just your bobby, there's ten of them there. Uh, my friend Jim. Hi. It's raining. Well, come on in and sit down, Jim. Hello. Hello, you, Jim. Uh, sit down. Tell him where you were this morning, Jim. I was with the law. I'm not surprised. Tell him why, man. That last bird had got dumb. I knew her. Knew her? Well, I went around with her once or twice, like. Why do they want to speak to you? Uh, they're pulling in all the fellas that she went around with. Well, they think it's someone she knew. Didn't say. Well, could you tell them anything? Only what she told me, that she was, like, interested in some other fella older than her. Well, is that all? <laughs> That's all she'd give, man. So they're not getting very far? Well, like I said, I don't really know. Well, girls, killer's still on the loose. But don't worry, he doesn't interfere with you. Apart from throttling you to death, of course. Len, your father had turned in his grave. What do you have to keep on about Dad for, Mum? You never liked him. George, send him to his room. Aren't you interested in facing the truth? I've never been so ashamed. You must have been, Mum, because you said you haven't a million times before. You interested in mice? Mice? Hello, Auntie. Hello, George. Mind, I'm wet. They're all in the sitting room. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting ready to go out. Oh, yes, anywhere nice. Business. Oh. Don't mind me, I'll be all right. Me. 
you'll find someone as nice as Claire was. I know you. When? It may be someone you already know. When? Who's already very close. When? Will you do something for me? Oh, yes. Come here. Hmm. There. Yeah. A pleasant enough face, wouldn't you say? In fact, one might even say almost pretty. Yeah. Oh, yes, pretty. A lot of people would say so, and I'd agree with them. Uh, tender, adolescent, flower, blooming, unaffected by the, what do you call it, the cares of the world. And shall I give you a bit of beauty advice? How to avoid becoming a wrinkle-faced, grey-haired old lady long before your time, shall I? Oh, stop worrying about me and my rotten old life, OK? You haven't found my sweater, then? It'll turn up. Why do you keep on about it? I just noticed these things. Uh, as a matter of fact, I seem to remember Len borrowing it. Instead of which you went to your old house, although your mother has forbidden you to go there. Yes, Father. You know that lying is wrong, that it could cause your mother great pain. Yes, Father. But still you persist. We were so happy there, Father. Do you understand that? My child, life should consist of more than memories. It not only should, it must. There's something else I have to tell you. Something much worse. It's about Claire. Remember I told you about her? Um, your brother's fiancé, the one who was killed in an accident. He's not really my brother, Father. Well? Sometimes I find myself thinking. More and more I find myself it's awful, Father, but sometimes I find myself thinking. I'm glad she's dead.
Dear Lord, just because you find a bit of old sweater with stuff in it, and just because he doesn't go and make shelves for Mrs. Bennet when he says he does, it doesn't mean anything, does it? George is good, and if he tells lies and does things, it must be for a good reason, mustn't it? You know how lonely he's been since Claire's accident, and they were getting married and everything, and I know you'll understand if I have to get rid of that sweater, because people always get the wrong idea, and that would be awful. I know he isn't a Catholic, but he is good, I promise you. Amen. Evening, Father. Hello, Wynne. Uh yes? I believe in one God, yes. the Almighty yes. Father, yes. maker of heaven and earth. Where were you last night? Maker of all I things, waited. visible and invisible. Out! I believe in one Lord, Jesus With Christ. With a boy. Perhaps the God and Son of God, born of the Father before time began. God from God, light from light, true to God from true God. Are you seeing him again? Tonight? What's he like? Tasty? <laughs> And through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. You're not going to. You know, let him. You say you've done it hundreds of times. Yes, I know, I mean. Are you going to a hotel? We might. We haven't decided. But how will you not have a baby? We've been all fixed. No. You'll tell me what it's like. I thought you knew. Yes, I know, I mean, swap notes, if you like. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, do I know him? Not telling who proceeds from the Father and the Son. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. 
if you promise to cover for me. He it was who spoke through the prophets, and you give me your rosary, the mother of pearl, one with the silver caps on the crucifix that George gave you. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. All right. To the life of the world to come. Amen. What in there? Night things. Night things? Oh. I'm only lending it to you, don't forget. You can only have it if you don't mess things up for me. Oh, let me see. I'll be going then. When? You promised to let me know what it's like? Maybe. Want to borrow my amber pen with a real fly inside? No, thanks. David doesn't like insects around my neck. David? Now I know. Thousands of Davids in the world. Enjoy yourself. It hurts the first time, you know. I've done it seven times. I ought to know. Seven! You ought to get yourself a dog. Pardon? Number of times you go out to the common, you ought to get yourself a dog. Uh, I'm not. I'm meeting some friends. Sweet. Skirt's too short. Please. Hey, you left your coat.
You were in late last night? Was I? Where were you? Club. Same as usual. Look, Len, I don't know what these things are, and I don't want you to tell me. What do you say we just chuck the lot down the loo, whatever they are? So simple, isn't it? rather dishy. I agree. Look, I only came to say I have to go and see someone. Suits me. I said I'd see hairy hands in the coffee bar anyway. When? Did you or didn't you? What? Have it. What? Sex. No, I knew you wouldn't. Passing by, I thought I'd say hello. 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 Yeah, help this, will you? Do you ever go to the old house? What makes you ask that? I know how much you liked it though. No, I don't go there. But you were there that day when you caught curry on me. But sometimes I go there. Just to look over the old place, but not often. But you don't like me going there. When another girl was murdered last night. You know where they think it happened. Well, that's why. Len says even a murderer must have a family. Len says lots of things. But if he does, then one of them might know, mightn't they? Not necessarily. They were very close to him, understood him. They'd want to help him. When this man's mad, he doesn't know what he's doing. Sometimes, most of the time, he's perfectly normal, and then he just can't stop himself. Isn't there anything he can do about it? Shouldn't think so. Then, then wouldn't it, wouldn't it be better if he gave himself up? If he couldn't help it, no one would blame him. And he'd have people who were close to him. Who'd stick to him through thick and thin? What are you on about then? When people have people who love them, they don't have to worry about anything. Because. because they've got people who love them. Why do you ever have to change? Diabolically clever, as well as bloody bent. It's the poor mother I can't help thinking about. Yeah, you make a mistake, but I always do. If he does, they'll catch him. If he doesn't, they won't. Television. Oh, I missed a great game. Did I? A few goals. Yeah, I read about it in the papers this morning. Still, a good result. Could have gone either way. Yeah, but I said that. Well, see you, George. Yeah, okay. 
Might I go? Say what? How well I look. You look better. Bloody liar. Home at last. Yep. See if you can stay this time.
Did she, did you, did you ring uh, her friend up? Oh, I, I don't remember. I can't remember that. She never got there. Then so you think of anywhere else she might have gone? Oh, um, I know she did and Now, Mrs. Kinch, yes. when she left the house, do you remember whether she said that she was actually going to Corinth's house or going to meet her? Oh, she, she oh, just said, oh, she just said, I'm going to Corinth's. Now, this means that she, she could have been there. Now, she could have met a Corinth at some other place, perhaps a cafe or something like that. Is there a cafe that she goes to with her friends? Yes, but not at night. Look, I I've rung Mrs. Melvin. Yes, but if she, she went did, there... You can see the house from just up in the balcony. Yes, Mrs. Kinch, but if we could establish that she'd been to this cafe, we could go and ask the proprietor, she you know, if he'd seen it. She wouldn't go by herself. Yeah. Something's happened. No, but she may have gone there. She went here and went to court. I rang Mrs. Melvin. She never got there. Well, uh, now, let me see. Um, Is she something, isn't it? Do I know something? Uh, well, we can't, we can't jump to that conclusion immediately. And can you tell me how tall is your daughter? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. It's five, well, five, four. Five, four. And what about the colour of her hair? Brown. Brown hair? Like, like brown. Long or short? Long. Your mother's given us a description, all right. Uh, will there be a photograph about it? A photograph? A photograph. Well, it would help. That's a bit drastic, isn't it? Well, it's best to cover ourselves straight off, sir. If anyone can help you, it's me brother, George. Why don't you shut up? What does he mean? Ask him. I'm warning you. You're warning me what? Your stupid remarks. The girls out what? there should not be Stop it, the better! Stop it! Hello. Is this her? Where the hell have you been? Mm -hmm. You're here. Upstairs. She's been in bed. She couldn't have been. That's good. Well, not actually in bed. <clears throat> I was under it. She's not well. Get her a drop of Aunt Rainey's brandy. Under Come along, sit down. And now, oh, you're peaky. Where's that brandy? There, dear. She's stoned. Go on, drink it down. <sighs> exactly which bed would it have been that you would have been under? Mine. All right, now listen, she's back in a funny old state, I'll admit, but she is back. Oh, she's going. Goodbye. Sorry, Thank you very much. much. Bye. Bye. So sorry. I've been half out of my mind. Sorry. Where have you been? For a walk. <laughs> it's definitely staying. <laughs> she is. She is. Who's been giving you a drink? You have. <laughs> I'm nearly 15. Some girls stay out all night. Not in this house, they don't. When if you've done anything wrong, love, you can tell me. I return as I went. Total virgin. Oh, my God. I'll tell George. If you've got anything to say, young lady... Just but... George. Bed. <laughs> Come on, Len. <laughs> she, she wants a jolly good idea. No, Pops. I'll have a word with her in the morning. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> I went for a ride. Where? First of all, I went to some sort of hospital. Then I went to this very posh house. And then I waited. And while I waited, I got rather thirsty, so I had a little drink, rather a lot of pale ale. You were in the van? That's right. Why? I was looking for clues. You must admit it's very good of me. Go to bed. With you. I want to sleep with you. Get out, Will. It's a perfect...
perfectly normal reaction of a full-blooded female for a full-blooded male. Get out. I want you to put your arms around me and kiss me. And... and do things. Things you do to her. I can't sit here all day doing nothing. Hello. Was it David? David who? I knew. Well, I guess when your mum rang up to find out if you were with us. Oh! What time did you get home? Half past two. Were they mad? They still are. I bet. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mrs. Kinch. Hello, you. Oh, may I? George is going to take you all on a picnic. Oh, lovely. Yes. is this David? 17. Well, he must be retarded if you don't have sex. Who said we didn't? You can always tell. Well, that's all you know. As a matter of fact, there isn't any David. I knew it. It's George. It's George I went out with. We were drinking. What? Carrot juice? Sherry. Not in the pub. You're underage. He'd be arrested. We've got this friend with a big house. She lets us use it so the family won't know. It's not so much sex between us. It's real love. All his friends understand. They know we're in a difficult position and they're helping us to wait. What for? Till I'm 16 and we can get married. We won't go abroad on our honeymoon. We'll go straight to our cottage. This cottage we found. It's miles and miles away from anywhere. I'm going to look after him. And keep people from worrying him and everything. Whatever he may have done. Or people may think he's done. I'm... 
only telling you because you're a friend of mine. And you'd find out anyway when I asked to be a bridesmaid. I don't believe you. I'll ask him. You dare. I know he goes out with other women. That's just a cover. In his heart, he's being faithful to me. Because he doesn't want anyone else. Why didn't you tell me before? Shh. We said we'd keep it a secret. That's why if you say anything... You don't know he's being faithful. He's not like that. You haven't seen the way he looks at me sometimes. He doesn't. Not when you're looking. You're only jealous. Me? Huh. Don't you spoil it. What could I do? Vanilla, please. Have you got a Napolitano tutti frutti? I. Get off. Oh. Get off. Is this what you want? You're hurting me. Is this what you want? Please. You're hurting me. I'll hurt you in a minute. Pathetic little mini tart. You wait. Just you wait. I know all about you and your cottage in the country and your real love. You're a dirty old man. You wait. Just you wait. All right. We're going. Corin. Hey, Corin, George said it's all right. Does he? Well, I'm not getting in there with him. I don't want to be raped, thank you very much. Hey, we can't just leave her there. Why not? From now on, you keep away from her. Understand? It's my fault as well as Corrie's. She was trying to make me jealous. I told her things about you and me. About us going away to get married and everything. Why? It's just that I know that... I understand you. And I don't want anyone to hurt you. Why should anyone hurt me? Well, you know... Go on, out you get. Go on. Where are you going? See if I can find her. But you said... I've changed your mind. You won't get angry with her again or anything? She's got to live by now. This is a waste of time. Hey, wait. 
Wait, I've just to... Wait. What's up now? You go on. I've just remembered. I've got to do something. You're kidding. Next time, you bloody world war. Wait. 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 You said you were looking for Cory. Well, I couldn't find her. You said you were looking for Cory. I mean, listen to me. Who is she, George? What am I supposed to say? I'm sorry. Is that what I'm supposed to say? I'm sorry. Is it the lovesick little virgin? She's a bit young for you, isn't she, Georgie? Why did you tell her? You didn't have to tell her. Look at me, Wayne. Look at me. This is me, Wynne, all right? Me. Take a good look, when In two years' time, she'll be dead. Not necessarily from the booze, either. <gasps> you asked about that sweater? It was covered in blood, her blood. 
I just didn't want your mother to know about it. She needs me. I've somehow become responsible for her life and I can't get out of it. Can you understand things like that? Uh, not very romantic, I'm afraid, Winnie. I'm sorry. Don't, George. Don't. What? What did you say, Win? Please. Could you open the door? Where have you been? Well, George isn't back yet, neither is Karen. This is your friend, Corin. Only a fat lot you care. Where are you? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? But George was... was looking for you. Well, he won't find me. I'm going to teach him a lesson. No one treats me like that. I'm going to stay out. That'll drop him right in it. Where are you going? As a matter of fact, I'm with a friend of yours. At least he was. Only it was me he was interested in all the time. We could go anywhere. Coming. In fact, I've decided. I'm so scared of George, I might stay out all night. I know where we'll go. If I see a ghost, I'll give her your regards. Ta-ta. But Corin. Got a fag. You, uh, you didn't say anything, did you? What about? You and me. What, and have her go running to my stupid mother? Anyway, she wouldn't dare. Where to then? I, am. Um, I don't want to be too late. Work tomorrow. I don't work, stupid. I do. Sometimes I wish I did. You're a... You're not married, are you? No. That's all right, then.
I know you're here, Corrie. Please come home. George didn't mean it. of that. Sure, she's dead, you see. There's no use in our running to the police unless we've got our facts straight, is there? Would you like me to do that? Just to be sure. You'd better show me then. I was outside under a tree watching the stars, and I saw you run into the house. I was worried about you. shouldn't have come looking for her. You're nice. She shouldn't have been your friend. She, she was dirty. Well, they're like that now, you know. They just don't seem to know what they're doing. Well, you understand that, don't you? They want you to do, do it. They make you. And then they laugh. I always laugh. And then I feel sick. I get this sick in my stomach. But I've never had a strong stomach. You can ask my mother. They shouldn't laugh at me.
I'm not sorry. Start counting